Hello everyone to another fantastic Alpha Speed video. Hey, look, Alpha Speed. You know, you know, you know who's. Uh, I don't know what the f I was going. I, I don't know where I was going with that. But anyways, welcome to another fantastic video. We have a Mustang GT350 here, and we're gonna explain to you a few things about how the tuning process on this thing works. You can have a bit more insight on all the things we do. If you're gonna tune your own car, take these things into consideration because I think they're pretty important. So let's get to it. As you have seen, we just transitioned to the workstation where we have a can of raid because here in Puerto Rico, there's a bunch of mosquitoes trying to bite me because I'm apparently very mosquito sweet, but let's, let's keep talking about the car instead of raid bottles. Uh, so these cars have a very advanced and somewhat complicated torque management system, as some of you may know. And uh, we made a, an Excel sheet which basically does most of these torque table calculations for you. If you put the torque table into the Excel sheet and you tell it, uh, I'm expecting the, the Excel sheet grabs the highest torque value from that table and then you give it a new torque value for your maximum expected torque. And it converts the torque table, the old torque table into a new one accounting for whatever new torque you're expecting from your engine. If you boosted it, if you're turbocharging it, you're obviously going to make a bunch more torque than it makes from the factory. So you just tell it about how much torque you're ex expecting from your car and it'll spit out a table that you can use in HP tuners in the torque calculator thing that HP tuner has. You put your new to torque table in there and you can do that with all the 27 tables that this thing has to calculate torque. These torque tables are important because uh, these cars, if you don't put the tor correct torque values and you, let's say you supercharge it and your torque tables aren't done, then the car, when it says that it's making, when it sees that it's making way more torque than it's expecting, it'll start going into limp mode. Many of you have seen the magical Ford wrench that tells you that you're in limp mode. That's usually because the torque management system is going crazy because it's like, how is it making so much torque? The torque table is not telling me that I should be making this much torque. So you need to recalculate all your torque tables and make sure that they're all at least somewhat close to reality. So the, the, all that torque management system is happy. And then you also have a driver demand table that relates your, thro your pedal position to the expected torque, to the required torque. You have the accelerator pedal position. It tells the system, I'm, I want this much torque. And then the, all the power con, powertrain control system figures out how do I make this torque that the user is telling me. It goes to the torque table, it checks, ah, I need to be at this much load, this much RPM, I'll have this much torque. And if, it, if they don't match, it'll start going crazy. And also, if you try to use traction control and one of these two tables is not up to spec, it'll either throw a wrench or it'll disable the entire traction control system and then you'll go crazy. You'll spin everywhere and probably run over a few pedestrians and we don't want to do that. So you always, when you're tuning a Ford, you need to make sure that all these torque tables are correctly calculated. They're at least somewhat close to reality. And uh, besides that, uh, Fords use a uh, wideband from the factory. So air fuel tuning is pretty easy not completely brain dead, but as long as you calculate, as you calibrate the flow meter correctly, it should be close to reality. And then it uses the wide bands to correct your AFR to the correct mixture that you're looking for. If you tell it, I want 11.8 AFR and it's running at 12.5, the wide bands tell it, hey, it's running kind of lean. You should richen up and it richens up. And at least that part is pretty simple. Also, on ignition timing, uh, talking now about ignition timing, they have 54 timing tables because it has two sets of 27 tables, one for borderline spark, which means this is the spark that you can run being borderline in, in the borderline of knock. So you put those tables, that's the base table, and if it doesn't knock, it starts advancing into the MBT tables, mean best torque. And uh, that's basically the timing that you would run if you had perfect octane, the engine would not knock due to spark ever. You use the borderline table. So using a mixture of these two, it can decide, hey, I'll add a bit more timing. And if it knocks, 
then it goes under the borderline table and it tries to take it back to the borderline table. And if we're in the borderline table for a long time and there's no knock, it'll start trying to advance to the MBT one, of course. It'll never get quite to the MBT table, but it starts trying to get close. You have a, a maximum distance that you can be from the MBT table and you can decide, for example, this car, it only adds two more degrees on top of the borderline table to try to get to the MBT, but it'll never quite meet it because since it's supercharged, it, it'll always be knock limited. So yeah, that's basically, that's a basic overview. All of our Alpha Speed dealers can get your Ford tuned if you want some Ford tuning from us. If not, you have a few tips. The, in the description, there's a link to the Excel sheet that we created that we use to calculate torque. We used to redo all the timing tables when you boost your car. Uh, it's free for you to use. It's a bit complicated, but if you sit down and play with it for a while, you'll understand that it works pretty well. It helps you knock that tuning time pretty much in half because you don't need to manually recalculate all the tables. It basically recalculate, recalculates them all for you. So yeah, uh, as you've seen, thanks for your support. Let's learn a little bit more tuning every day and uh, make sure to like this video. If you like what you saw, comment. Uh, are we doing things right? You let us know and share it. If you have some friend that's trying to tune his own Ford and you think he needs a few tips, share it away. And thanks for watching.